Hi, this is Susan, the Fru Fru Gal, and I'm going to show you how to make um, a monkey fist drawer pull today. And uh, I'm in my PJ, so you only get to see my lovely hands today. Um, the monkey fist is a nautical knot that has a center core center, so today we're going to be using some 316 inch uh, clothesline and some wooden balls. These are three-fourths of an inch. Hobby Lobby sells these in a package of nine for $1.47. They come with or without holes. You're also going to need a lighter, some kind of stylus, and some scissors. So take a start by taking your clothesline and I stretch mine about fingertip to fingertip and use maybe just a little bit less. So starting where your uh, clothesline is still connected. You're going to start there and you're going to wrap around your two fingers. You're going to go one, two, three wraps around and after the third wrap you're going to come back so you want to see three lines here on both sides. You're going to come up under your bottom finger, you're going to go across your finger and you're going to take the end of your clothesline and you're going to poke it behind the wraps in between your two fingers here and you're going to do that three wraps as well. As you do your wraps, you want to wrap them one on top of the other. So I'm going to go three wraps around. You want to kind of keep a little bit of space in there. And after the third wrap, you're going to poke it through Take, you can go ahead and take your finger out now. Poke that wrap through to the back. You have this hole here, okay? So where you have this hole above your finger, take one of your balls, wooden balls, and stick it in there. And now you can hold the ball between your fingers here. This rope that's coming behind, the clothesline's coming behind, you're going to poke it through underneath here and come towards you now. So you're going to do this three times. You've got to go away from you on the top and towards you on the bottom. Your wraps are going to scoot to the left. You're going to poke it through. Sorry, I don't have a very big space down here. I want to do that three times as well. Okay, so after you get three wraps in here, now you have wraps that go this direction. You have wraps that go this direction. And which one did I forget? <laughs> this way? <laughs> so you have three different directions of wraps. Okay? You're going to take this line here in the back and you want to follow it around to the back and you see here <clears throat> that the rope we started from, this one, is underneath and we want to make this one underneath too. So you got to come here, stick it underneath that middle section, poke it through. You want to get it underneath as well. So now you have your ropes here. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up now. And I start again from, well, this rope is long enough, and this is about as long as I want it. So I'm going to start from here, and I'm just going to tighten everything around it. The first time you tighten it, you're going to have to do this a couple of times. Don't try and get it super tight the first time because you'll get a misshapen ball if you do that. First time you tighten it, you just want to get things cinched down so that you have the shape of the ball that you want. When you come down here, see this bends around the corner, so just pay attention to where your ropes are going.
and you can tighten it down. Now see we have that tight and this is still a little misshapen but not tight so again you want to just get it nice and tight. The second time you go through and tighten it you want to make sure that you're really getting it tightened down and this way when you tighten it you're only going to be able to pull half through so you're going to go on one half of this line you got to go through to the other half you can't just pull it one whole thing because it's just too tight be careful when you get to the bends where it bends here you don't want to pull this too tight or you're going to leave a gap in the ball are they able to see this around my chubby fingers here now see I got that a little tight I'll show you how to fix that in just a minute all right so if you get it too tight you could take a stylus here you want to make sure you get underneath the rope don't get a hold of it and just kind of loosen it and pull it back there there's always plenty of give you just have to kind of pull and play with it this is going to be the back side so it's not super critical but if you were making one of these to be on display somewhere and you wanted to be able to see all sides you'd want to make sure that you you know didn't pull so tight there that you have that gap exposed and there now we have it it's all nice and tight. So you're going to cut off the ends. You cut it off, take your lighter, just melt the ends a bit. It's not all over the place on you. All right. Now I have it with the two ends towards the front. I'm going to take those, I'm going to wrap them around behind my finger to the right. I'm going to come across the front and I'm going to go up through the hole. And I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to adjust it. You can tell which way the ropes kind of want to move. Get those nice and smooth. Make sure they're not crossed. You only want it about a thumb space, the not a thumb space away from the ball. And then just pull tight. As you put it in the drawer, it's going to kind of tighten up there as you're pulling on it. So there you have the knot. We'll go over and we'll put it in the drawer and I'll show you how to fasten it.